day everyone today i will discuss the definition syntax and example code each of the following in php first constant php constant a constant is a identifier name for a simple value that value that the value cannot be changed during the script a valid constant name start with a letter or underscore no dollar sign before the constant name Create a PHP constant. To create a constant, use the define function. So here is the syntax of constants. Define, open parenthesis, name, value, case insensitive, and close parenthesis. Parameters. Name, specify the name of constant. Value, specify the value of a constant. Case insensitive, specify whether the constant name should be case insensitive. Default is full. Here is the example of PHP constant. So, code na to siya. Type tag define. Then, open parenthesis. Double quotation. It's great. Great. Comma, double quotation. Then, type na welcome to meet. USTP Hasaan Don't forget the semicolon Echo Echo mo ni siya mag-display sa Output Echo na ito nga Greeting Then semicolon Control S Pia na ito sa browser So Pada i-type si local Ano ito ang local? Ang ito ang local host na ah, nakasave na siya is my first that PHP. Siya. So, mugawas ng output is welcome to asaan. Ano ni siya ang modisplay ng output? Welcome to is space asaan. So, niran na na siya. Next is PHP constant array. In PHP 7, you can create an array constant using defined function. So, sa PHP, mag-create kaya po ka, ay sa constant, mag-create kaya po ka array using kaya po sa defined function. So, here the example of PHP constant. Ito siya, ha? Code. Siya, code. So, ano mo siya? Is it nag-define kaya po nyo? Define. Open parenthesis, double quotation, scar, scar, comma, then bracket, open, close and open bracket. So, sulod danhi niya, danhi niya tubutan ang mga brand sa car. So, brand sa car na Toyota. Tama, open na sa dayon. So, Ford. Honda. Dayon. Dani, dani mo to siya ang semicolon. Tama. So, display na to ang output. Na, so, type na itong echo. Car. So, ano to? Open and close bracket. Ang mga na pagkawin ni si 2. Ang ato na siya yung ibutang 2. So, semicolon. Control S. Talenta sa browser. So, Honda. Anong si Honda ang nigawas? Kay, ato mo magkikikuhan na si 2. So, mo mo ni siya. Sa pag-index siya, mo ni siya si 1. Ay, si uh, index, mag-start yun siya sa zeros pag sa array. So, mani siya sa zero, one, o two. Pagkos na to si two, mani si Honda ang two. So, piran na siya. Mani siya. PHP if, if else or if else if statements is conditional statements are used to perform different actions based on different conditions. PHP conditional statements. Very often, when you write code or you want to perform different actions for different conditions, 
You can use conditional statements in your code to do this. In PHP, we have the following conditional statements. If statement executes some code, if one condition is true. If else statement ex executes some code, if, if conditions is true and another code, if the condition is false. If else or else if statement executes different codes for more than two conditions. In switch statement selects one of many blocks of code to be executed HP that if statement if statements execute some code if one condition is true no, HP the if statement the if, the if statements execute some codes if one condition is true code set that. Semicolon and Run. Run. So that I have a good day. The FL statements. The FL statements execute some code if the condition is true and another code if the condition is false. Nice syntax. So, so don't have a um, else, else. Yes. Yeah.
Saudara, bilis dan aku ang kanan, bilis dan ang H O Fry. True man tu si H, kalau tu si. Ya, have a good night. So next is the PHP FL statement. The syntax FL statement executes different codes for more than two conditions. Syntax if conditions code to be executed if this condition is true. Else if condition code to be executed if first condition is false and this condition is true. Else Code to be executed if all conditions are false. This example. So, kung ano kung natog as. Echo. Have a good morning. Yeah, so I'm gonna do else to. Sorry. 
Sarah. Have a good morning. So next is PHP. PHP switch statement. The switch statement is used to perform different actions based on different conditions. The you it uses the switch statement to se select one of many blocks of code to be executed. And this is the, the switch statement syntax. Switch n, n is the value and case label 1 code to be executed if n equals to label 1. Then break. Break is very important in this in this syntax because if there is no break you because use uh, because use break to prevent the code from running into the next case automatically and the default statement is used if no match is found example example code The value that that is kanon pangitaon is red. And this is the output. My, your favorite color is red. And that is how a switch statement is used. Next is the PHP loops. The PHP while loop, the while loop executes a block of code as long as the specified condition is true. Loops through a block of code as long as the specified condition is true. Syntax, while condition is true, then the code will be executed. Example, Then we have to to code x equals to one semicolon while open and close parenthesis dollar sign x Equal or greater than five. Then a then a curly braces. Echo echo or the the output. The number is. The examples below displays a number from 1 to 5. Example. This is the example code. The, the value that anong pangitaon x equals 1. The value is 1. While x is Greater than or equal to 5. Echo. The number is the, the x value. And this is the example code. 
the number is syntax this is the syntax of while loop <laughs> this is the syntax of while loop while condition if the condition is true then the code will be executed example the example below displays the numbers from 1 to 5 and this is the example code the value is will be incremented then this is the output and this is the explanation of the example x equals to 1 initialize the loop counter x the value of x and set the start value to 1 x is greater than Oh, less than, less than, greater than. PHP loops. The while, the while loop is a loop through a block of code as long as a specified condition is true. The while loop executes a block of code as long as a specified condition is true. And this is the while loop syntax. While, if the condition is true, then the code will be executed. And this is the examples. The example below displays the numbers from 1 to 5. And this is the example code. The x... Val the, the value of x is 1 while x is less than or equal to 5 the condition is the condition is the condition is the value of x is less than or equal to 5 Echo. The number is BR means to break or to is the the to break or file mo mo mabutang siya sa next slide. Then then the value will be incremented. And this is the explanation of the example. Initialize the loop counter val value of x and set the value to 1. Continue the loop as long as uh, dollar sign x is less than or equal to 5. Increase the loop counter value by 1 for each iteration. This example counts to 100 by 10. Then save one. The value is zero.
see. Then next PHP do while loop. The do while loop is a loop through a block of code once and then repeats the loop as as loop. PHP do while loop. The do while loop is the loops through a block of code once and then repeats the, the loop as long as the specified condition is true. The do while loop will always execute the block of code once. It will then check the condition and repeat the loop while the specified condition is true. And this is the do while loop syntax. Do code to be executed while if the condition is true. Examples. The example below first sets a variable dollar sign x to 1, which is the value of x is 1. Then the do while loop will write some output and then increment the va variable increment the variable then the condition is checked is x is less than or equal to 5 and the and the loop will continue to run as long as as x is less than or equal to 5 Do do the number is we are This is time. And this is the example example code of do while loop. So the output and this is the output. Note, in a do while loop, the condition is tested after executing the statements within the loop. It's, this means that the do while loop will execute its statement. In a do while loop, the condition is tested after executing the statements within the loop. This means that the do while loop will execute its statements at least once. Even if the condition is false, and this is the example. This example says the x variable to six. And it runs the loop and then the condition is checked. Okay, function. PHP user defined functions. Beside the built-in PHP function, it is possible to create your own functions. 
A function is a block of statement that can be used repeatedly in a program. A function will not execute it automatically when a page loads. A function will be executed by a call to the functions. Create a user-defined function in PHP. A user-defined function declaration starts with the word function. Okay, syntax, mention syntax. Function, function name, open and close parentheses, curly braces, code to be executed, semicolon, and close braces. For example, okay, mag-code sa ta. Function, wait, function write message, Open and close parentheses, curly braces, and echo the world. Wait, sa. Okay. So, muni ang tawag sa, pang tawag sa function para mo display ang hello world. So, ato sa tag browser. So, mo na niya gawas ang hello world. Nira na ni siya. Nira na ni siya. So, next, tani is... Array. An array is a special variable which can hold more than one value at a time. An array can hold many values under a single name and you can access the value by referring to an index number. Create an array in PHP. Rather, index arrays, array with a numeric index. Second, associative arrays, arrays with a name case. PHP index array. There are two ways to create index arrays. So, nara ang example niya. So, pwede ninyo i-manual or automatically. Magpili lang mo anong da kung asa mo comfortable. So, nara ang example. Dollar sign roots. First is apple. So, nag-declare man tag apple. And then second, banana. And then third is orange. So, maong man na inyong gipili nga gusto ninyo i-display. Wait lang. So, nanatay, banana. Then, balik tayo is natay orange. So, mauna na ang tulo na inyo gusto ninyo i-display. So, ang echo, muna siya ang ga-display sa inyong gibutang. Pwede na mabutang, I love to eat. And then, kato ang inyong gibutang nga banana, apple, and orange is ginadeclare na niya ang Masya, dan sa fruits. No, dito na to sa dollar sign. Fruits na sa nga that bracket. Puta na to ang 1. Kama. Double quotation. Kama again. Then, dollar sign. Fruits. Bracket. 2. And close bracket, then semicolon. So, control S na to siya. So, siya sa browser. So, I love to eat apple, banana, orange. Nasumpay siya. Wait lang. Natay na. Kuhan dan ni. Kuhan. 
masumpay siya. Ito, kamadan eh. Hmm. Yan, kama. So, control S na to siya. Okay. Oh, so nara. I love to eat apple, banana, or orange. Okay. So nara na na siya. So, so, so.